Hello guys. Today we will learn how to find missing number in an arithmetic progression using divide and conquer technique. So first let's look at our problem statement. So our problem statement sta says that given an array that represents elements of an arithmetic progression in order, one element is missing in the progression. Find the missing number. When we say that the array is in order, we mean that the array is sorted and that too in an ascending order. For example, we can take this array like array A, it has element 2, 4, 8, 10, 12, 14 and we have to find the missing element. So our output should be 6. Basic approach to our problem is that we traverse the array linearly and find the missing element. But this solution is good for the arrays which are smaller in size like 10, 12, 40, 100. But for the arrays with the greater size like in thousands, our solution will take a very long time to compute. For example, if we have an array of thousand size and the missing element lies in the second half of the array and that too it is the second last element. Thus, we will traverse the whole array of thousand elements and use the memory. Thus, it will not only take the time, also we will do the computations which were not necessary. So, is there is a better solution available? The answer is yes. Our better solution is divide and conquer technique. In this technique, we divide the array into two halves in the first step. Like for this array, our first half is this and second half is this. Now, if we know that our missing element lies in the second half, we will discard the first half and our half of the computations will be nullified. Thus, now we have to work only on the second half. This was a smaller array, but in case of thousand size array, we will divide the array into half that is 500 and 500. So our 500 computations will be left, will be less. So we will use our divide and conquer technique to find the missing element in the arithmetic progression. Now let's look at our algorithm. So, this is our algorithm and we will proceed our algorithm step by step and through an example we will see how our algorithm works. So, step 1 of our algorithm says that go to the middle element. As we know in divide and conquer technique we have to divide our array into two halves in the first step so that our computations are decreased to half. Thus, we will go to the middle element. So for this middle element of the array, this array contains how many? 9 elements. So middle element will be 4. So the element at 4th position is 12. So this is our middle element of our array 12. Now we will see whether our missing number lies in the first half or the second half that is left half or the right half and we will ignore the half in which we don't have any thing to do. So now let's move on to the second step. Second step says that we have to see whether the difference between the middle element and next to the middle or before the middle is equal to the difference or not. That is we check the neighbors of the middle element. 12 was our middle element and its neighbor are 14 and 10. If the missing number would have been in the neighborhood, we don't have to divide the array further and thus our computations will be decreased further. So first we check the neighbors. In our this case, we find the difference and we see that 14 minus 12 equal to 2 which is equal to the difference and 12 minus 10 is also equal to 2 which is equal to difference. Thus, our missing element does not lie in the neighborhood of the middle element. Now we will divide the array into halves and proceed further. So let's move on. 
Step 3. As we know, we have to divide the array into two halves. But now the main challenge lies that we have to find out in which part of the array does our missing element lie. Does it lie in the left half or in the right half? So this is the step 3 to find out in which half of the array does our missing element lie. So for this we check if the middle element is n by 2 a term of the arithmetic progression then the element lies in the right half as in the left half. That is for a given arithmetic progression we can find out that n by 2 that is what should be the middle element of the given arithmetic progression. If the number we find out is equal to the middle element of the array which is given to us then the element lies in the right half or it lies in the left half. So we can see through our example in our example middle element will be fourth element. So fourth element in the AP is 10. Now but in our array our middle element is 12. Thus it shows that our missing element lies in the left half. So the left half or of our matrix is 2, 4, 8 and 10. Thus we have discarded the other part the right half of our array and thus we are left with a smaller set to compute. Now we will repeat the process once again on this shorter set. So firstly we have to find the middle element which is 1 and a of 1 is 4 as we can see in the array. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Second step was to check the neighbors and we see that in the neighborhood 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 which is not equal to the difference which was equal to 2. Thus our middle element lies in the neighborhood of the middle element. Thus our missing element is 4 plus 2 equal to 6. So this is how our algorithm works and this was an example for the short array that is array of length 9. But for the larger arrays if the element missing was second we do not have to compute for the till the end. Just we will divide the array into halves go to the left half then further divide then again go to the left half and thus we will lessen the number of computations and thus increase the efficiency of our solution. So this was our algorithm. Now let's see how we can implement our algorithm in computer language. So let's summarize our algorithm. We had an array A of 9 elements. We found that middle of the array was 4 and the middle element was 12. Thus then we compared it to the neighbors to further lessen our computations. But the missing element was not among the neighbors. Thus, we find out the middle element of the AP that is n by 2 a term which was fifth element. Thus, our middle element of the AP was 10 which was not the middle element of the array given to us. Thus, our missing term lied in the left half. Left half of this array would be 2, 4, 8 and 10. Now we will do the further processing on the left half. Once again we find out the middle and the middle was 1. Thus the middle element was 4. Once again we compared it with the neighbors. This time the missing element was among the neighbors that was 8 minus 4 equal to 4 which was not equal to difference. Thus the middle missing term was a of mid plus difference that is 4 plus 2 equal to 6. This was our overview of our algorithm. Now we will see the implementation. So let's move on. So this is our implementation. Here you can find the whole code for our problem. 
Now let's understand how this code works through the example which we had taken to understand the algorithm. So let's start. Firstly, we have a function called find missing, which basically calls the function find missing util and provides the difference to us. So for our array which was given, difference would be 20 minus 2 divided by 9 which is equal to 10. And then we will call find missing util with the array, the lower and the higher bound plus difference. Low and high is given so that we can divide the array. So let's go further. This is find missing util. First of all, it checks whether the high is less than low. If this is the condition, we have we don't have the array and thus we return. Now, if this condition is not true, we go on to find the middle as we did in our algorithm. Firstly, we'll find the middle, then we will check with the neighbors and if not within the neighbors then we will decide whether the left half or the right half. So we find the middle and then we will check with the neighbors. So our array is this high is n minus 1 that is 8 and low is 0 difference as already provided is 2 so middle element is 4. So a of mid is 12 mid plus 1 is 14 a of mid plus minus 1 is 10 now we check with the neighbors this is for a mid plus 1 that is 14 minus 12 which is equal to difference thus we do not have in the first in the right neighbor now we'll take the left neighbor so we this is for left neighbor now our element is not in the left neighbor also what we do next is we find out whether the missing element is in the right half or the left half so let's check how it is done in the programming so to find out whether our element lies in the right half or the left half what we do is find out the middle element of the arithmetic progression and compare it with the middle element of our array so this is how if they both are equal our element lies in the right half else it lies in the left half so this is our middle element of the array which is given to us but the middle element of the arithmetic progression should be 10 thus our missing element lies in the left half so what we have to do is we have to once again perform all the operations but now on the left half of our array that is only 2, 4, 8 and 10. Thus we have reduced the size of our problem set and we have reduced the number of computations. So now let's see how we repeat the process. So this time we have called find missing util on 0 to mid minus 1 that is 2, 4, 8 and 10. Mid minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. Now let's see what we do. Once again we call the find missing util function but now only on the left half. So our difference is 2 as it is constant, our high is 3, our low is 0. Thus our mid is 1 and the middle element is 4. After finding the middle element what we do is to compare it with the neighbors so that we can find out if the missing element is in the neighborhood of the middle element and we further reduce the computations. So here when we check we find out that our missing element lies in the neighborhood thus our missing element is a of mid plus different that is 4 plus 2 equal to 6. Hope you all like this video and you understood the concept of finding the missing element in the arithmetic progression using the divide and conquer technique. Thank you for watching and please leave us your likes and comments.